Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to reset Ubuntu. So in this one we're going to be focusing on the main GNOME Ubuntu desktop and the GTK desktops. Uh, I also cover KDE, and we're going to also cover the reinstall option for Ubuntu in this video, so two things. Please check the description for the other one, oh, the KDE one. So as you can see, I have heavily customized my Ubuntu VM here. I'm using dash to panel and I have made it so that it just has a regular panel set up. It's got the calendar, it's got my indicators. And uh, when I open something full screen, it's a panel like normal. And when I minimize, it goes, it's, it doesn't look like the way it should look. And I've decided that I wanna change it back. So what I need to do is look for a terminal and uh, enter the following command, and it should instantly reset. And there we go. Now it says that some of the sessions will require a restart, but for the most part, everything is looking like stock. You saw it go from the custom desktop that I had set up to what it is now. That is how you set your, your Ubuntu desktop exactly how it is when you reinstall it. Let's move on to a more advanced way of reinstalling uh, or resetting Ubuntu. I'm saying reinstall, but uh, please understand that this, it, it is reinstalling, but it also isn't. So I will be right back. So I'm back and we are in the install dialog for Ubuntu. So what I want you to do is I want you to get out that USB stick that you installed with and just load it back up. Go and click install Ubuntu like you're installing a fresh uh, version of Ubuntu. Select these options like you normally would. And then we need to go through and find the page where it says to choose an installation. So this is the one that we need to select. Now, this is a good option to choose if you have an Ubuntu system that isn't working right, that something is wrong, you don't know what it is, but something is messed up and you need to reset it. This is effectively refreshing, air quotes. Uh, this is a, a, a great way to refresh, and if you read what I have highlighted, it saves your documents, music, and other personal files. Installed software will be kept where possible. So programs that are installed will be, that will try to keep it and system-wide settings will be cleared. So this is the important thing. So if there's something wrong with your system, you can easily just click it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select reinstall Ubuntu and we're gonna click install now. From here, I'm sure if you've already installed Ubuntu, you can go through and do the installation setup like normal. So I'm not gonna film that part. So the installation is gonna go on and it's gonna go on for quite a while. And once it's done, Ubuntu will look and feel the exact same as it did when you installed it. All your files should still be there and everything. So I've reinstalled with the reinstall. I can quickly log in and everything is normal. All the programs are still here and uh, files are where they are. Uh, this is the first run, so it's telling me how sudo works. And uh, that is what you guys got to do if you want to fully reset Ubuntu. You either got to do the deconf command that I covered earlier, or you got to click through and do the reinstall option. Like I said before, please check the description. In, in there, we have a link to the article on how all of this works if you're confused. Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next video.